these two switches right here. And about the prices, this one is relatively expensive, about 25% uh, much more expensive comparing to the uh, uh, this type of the products right here okay and uh, what is the difference is first the most distinctive type of the differences is that actually the shape and the appearance is design of these two switches are different okay this is the most distinct differences yeah so the switches right here Actually, both two types of the switcher are in a really tiny body shape, right? It is really port portable because it is much uh, relatively smaller than the size of your hand, okay? But um, both two sides could be uh, really portable for you to carry around in the different to the different places, even you, if you are going to consider about the business travel. Both of these two types could be re uh, realize uh, achieve that kind of function but if you look into look closer about the material about the size of the, these two products you will notice that actually there has been a slightly different for example the, la uh, the the products right here you know I think it's for the right side yeah of your screen right here it is a you know the size is it has a much more thickness comparing to uh, this one's right here, okay? So relative, I think it's a double, yeah, double size of the thickness comparing to uh, this one's right here. So if you're going to talk about portability, actually this one is premium. This is this one is much premium. And if you're looking to the appearances and the different texture and material about uh, the products right here, you will notice that actually uh, it has been adopted with a, um, I think it's arc -like. yeah, not glass, I think it's arc-like, yeah, uh, arc-like surface design with the uh, uh, other four, you know, side of the product adopted with the aluminum alloy, yeah. So which uh, cause it, which lead to the weight of this product is relatively heavier, you know, comparing to this one, okay. Um, so I uh, guess you guys cannot feel the weight of this product but the thing is that actually I think this one maybe it's one third heavier yeah one third heavier than the switches right here than this gray switches right here okay so that is the appearance and the shape of these two products and um, let's just look into other details about these two type of the switcher of course that is all from the appearances yeah from the appearances then if we look into the back side of these two products you notice that actually this type of the product they got a four you know anti uh, slipped rubbers right here which means that the stability you know the stability the anti slipped ability is much much more better comparing to this ones right here of course, because without any kind of the rubbers, without any kind of the material that has been adhesived in this area, it means that you know uh, it will easily you know get drag dragged by the other you know by your cables if you move your uh, laptops right there. But um, with this one, yeah, of course it's premium. Okay, so I th I don't think it will cause a lot of the differences, but um, that is part of the design which. It could in relatively improve the convenience uh, or if you are a fixed workplace uh, you know worker so it will be much more convenient okay so that is appearances and also about the material um, you will see that this one the reason why it is expensive is that actually the material is premium okay the arc -like surface with the other, you know, four side, front side, back side, left side, and right side, all adopted with the, um, you know, aluminum alloy. Okay, and the back side is also the aluminum alloy. So this um, relatively expensive switcher. But uh, if you're going to talk about this small switcher, uh, it is actually uh, has a slightly different. So you will see that from the A side, B side, and the left side, and the right side of the product has been 
uh, a shape of the uh, aluminum alloy okay but you will see that actually the front side and back side of the product has been only adopted with the plastic okay so that is also the reason uh, why first the light is uh, the weight is much lighter and then the price is relatively cheaper of this product okay and um, yeah so that is the difference point about these two products so the next step is to see what is the uh, same or what is the you know uh, point that they these two type of of the products are both processed okay so first really important about the parameters of this product first is that both of these two products its transmission you know function its signal supported is exactly the same okay so uh, when we're going to talk about standard they can both support a 4k resolution okay 4k resolution so in the condition of the 4k resolution they can support a maximum of the 60 hertz resolution uh, 60 hertz refresh rate okay so the top standard is 4k at 60 hertz okay 4k at 60 hertz and it has no differences between these two type of the product okay the function they can support is are exactly the same and the second point they can both support a bi-directional transmission which means that you know it has no uh, signal output and input differences between HDMI ports right here okay so it doesn't have any differences but um, if you look into other products in our official store for example it is a one in two out switcher okay so this means that several ports are only designed for the input and other two ports are only designed for the output if you use them you connect them in the wrong direction it means that it cannot be in the uh, normal function yeah so or also maybe cause some damages to product itself but um, if you're going to talk about the bi-directional bi one yes indeed I do think that is really convenient it's just like the micro USB you know, interfaces right here uh, comparing to the USB-C interfaces although you know the shape of that two interfaces only depend only causes the differences of you know the USB-C interfaces is a uh, symmetrical interfaces that it can you know randomly plug without any kind of the front and back side differences but uh, if you're going to talk about the uh, micro inter micro B interfaces actually is different right yeah so actually the design is really really slightly but um, a slightly different but it indeed could significantly uh, lift the convenience of your delay use so that is also similar situation when we are going to talk about bi-directional and the single directional HDMI switcher okay so that is the second point which is really similar and our third point which is also you know enjoyed by both two products is the uh, little design right here okay for example we got a switch button right here okay switch button switch button means that you can switch to the channel that you want for example use this side for signal import and use this two port for the signal output right so in that condition you can press one uh, you know that button for one time you know to switch the channel for example if the uh, the default setting default channel is the left channel and by pressing this buttons right here you could be switched to another channel to the right channel okay so that thing is also doing the same on this buttons right here and we also both two type of the products actually got a indicate light right here okay you will notice that an indicate light it tells you which which channel is on and which channel didn't currently uh, you know flow with the signal okay that is the differences yeah between these two of things our last point about these two products right here is to talk about the uh, application scene okay application scene of these two products and uh, first let's just talk about the common application scene for example why you have to bought a bi-directional you know one in two out or two in one out switcher for their life and the second aspect is that uh, what is the differences if you're you know 
got some kind of the preference. How can you cho choose between these two type of the product? Okay, so the first point about these two type of the thing, why you have to adopt them? There has been several uh, scenarios. Okay, our first scenario is that if you got one devices, okay, one signal output devices, and you got two display devices, which could be used as the, for example, monitor, projector, TV, or mixer, mixed, you know, kind of the uh, design or anything else. If you got this two type, this two side of the product, and you are in a situation that, for example, you want to use your signal sources, and you want to switch the signal sources to two devices, to two display devices randomly. Um, some of the people will ask why I need this kind of thing. For example, you are doing your, you know, online courses, let's just assume, because due to the pandemic, you have to work in your home or study in your home, okay? And uh, there has been a really long time for you to sit in your, for, for, for example, bedroom or in your home to doing works. And you suddenly realize that sometimes you also want some leisure, for example, because people cannot work all the time, right? So first, you can use your laptops right here or a monitor that is really close to you, you know, to connect, to, to see the working things that you want, okay? And... Uh, maybe you know half a minute uh, half an hour later you find yourself really tired okay and you want to do some leisure things and uh, the signal is also from your laptop so what can you do you can connect to this one to a laptop okay one of them out signal out to the monitor that is near you another out is for your tv then push this uh, press this button your the, the the content that has been shown on your monitor which is right near you could be projected or you know sometimes we can just call it transferred to the tv which you know you can leisurely slower uh, you know lay down on your sofa and watch football games in a distance you know because if you want to do some amusement things of course uh, to lay it down and you know to have a relatively distance between the content will be really uh, helpful for you to have a rest okay so that is our first situation of course that is an example okay example of one signal output and two display devices okay so is the uh, our second situations our second situation that will be uh, two signal inputs and one uh, uh, display devices okay two signal inputs and one display devices so that will also be quite easy two signal inputs means that you got two uh, content devices for example one of them is your phone maybe you got a combination of phone uh, laptop or desktop laptop or desktop phone yeah so that is thing but your monitor is only one for example you only got a tv only a projector okay so that scenario will also become much more easier to understand uh, you got two signal channels for example sometimes you have to deal with the content on your phone and in other situations you want to deal with the content on your laptop uh, but um, you know you only want to do them in some specific screen for example your TV because it's large and you, you will release the pressure of your eyes in a distance of the watch and so that will be quite convenient by connecting your phones first connect to your phone okay second connect it to your laptop that is the example okay then you know use the only you know other channel to connect to your only monitor devices display devices for example projector okay so that will be easy uh, for example ordinary if you are doing the works on your laptop and you can see the content on the TV right here and you suddenly receive some messages for example uh, from your phone okay from your phone and you press this button the content on your phone could directly project it to your TV okay so about the application scene of 
the switcher actually the situation is the same the situation is the same the reason why you bought these two type of this is same is also the same but it still doesn't answer the questions uh, why you have to choose between these two type of the things okay so our last topic is to talk about why you have to choose between these two type of things if you are a user uh, with the different purpose what type of the switcher is better for you to try to choose okay so uh, literally that will be one sentence to conclude okay if you want or if you are really a frequent business traveler that need to do that kind of the things previously that that i was mentioned before uh, in the travel yeah during the travel or in the different places my recommendation will be this one this relatively tiny one okay and if your working condition if your working scenario is a fixed places you don't really switch the places you only for example doing that kind of things in your home or in your office my recommendation will be another one okay so let me just tell you why okay first because I've said relatively it is a much more smaller type, okay, much more smaller type, which means that it is will be really convenient for you to carry it around. Although the size of these two products are really convenient to carry around, but there still has been some differences points, okay? This one is much lighter, the size is the thickness, you know, the thickness of this product is much thinner. Uh, yeah, and the, the shell, the material itself, you know, without adopting with the Arclade design, it is much relatively anti-pressure, okay? But with the Arclade, sometimes it will be means broken or anything else is if you're falling them into the ground, okay? Yeah, so that is about a portable type of the things. And if you have a fixed working situations, for example, you only worked or doing that kind of things in your office, then that one will be really suitable. Why? First, as I previous said, we got to the anti-slipped rubbers right here, okay? So this rubber are literally designed for the fixed places, you know, if you drag the cables all around, it won't really slip all around, yeah. Okay, so that is the first thing. And also with this kind of the delicate design, I do think it will improve uh, the working you know, environment of some specific situations. Okay, so that is all about these two types of the HDMI switches. Yeah, uh, literally it got several different points. Okay, and yeah, so that is our first suggestion and solution uh, about how to choose between your HDMI switches. Okay, so if you guys got any questions, whether you are from the Facebook platforms, the Instagram, please, you know, direct to ask the questions. Uh, via our social media platforms okay yeah so see you guys next time okay